Airbus and IIT Kanpo have signed an agreement to promote joint research in advanced technologies and develop programs to enhance technical capabilities for aerospace students in India. The first image of the B-21 Raider stealth bomber conducting ground tests has emerged on social media, that shows noticeably smaller exhaust area to increase rear stealth. The Indian Air Force has signed a contract with an Indian manufacturer for the procurement of automatic weather stations at 82 locations, and these real-time weather updates will enable safe flying operations. Zen Technologies has secured a 100 crore rupees order for the supply of advanced tank training system for the Indian Army, that will enable training on rail terrains under authentic conditions. India Optel Limited has sent off the first export consignment of missile site used in the infantry fighting vehicles and Concours ATGM launchers to United Arab Emirates. Indian Army Chief has inaugurated the first vertical wind tunnel training facility that will refine the combat free fall skills of special forces. After US and UK, New Zealand became the latest member of the Five Eyes Intelligence Network to criticize New Delhi over the diplomatic tensions between India and Canada. The Indian government is mulling over supplying a fresh batch of military equipment to Armenia. Details of fresh supplies are not known yet but reports indicate that the new consignment could include weapons that would help to create a credible deterrence against Azerbaijan. Armenia has started testing the recently supplied Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers and anti-tank missiles, and the Armenian Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Security Affairs have said that the results are very satisfactory. In a surprising turn of events, Russia's Rosbaron export has acknowledged its limitations in delivering military equipment to overseas customers, which has raised eyebrows globally. Rosbaron export had initially proposed an all-Russian hardware configuration for the Super Shukhoi upgrade, but it has now accepted HAL proposed Super 30 upgrade configuration that includes Indian-made components, as well as improvements to the AL-31F engine with indigenous components by gas turbine research establishment, that will improve performance and enhance the overhaul life. The National Investigation Agency has revealed that two Islamic State operatives had applied for admission into PG Diploma course in Aviation Management at the Hindustan Aeronautics Management Academy in Bengaluru, after their online handler directed them to infiltrate India's defense system through Hindustan Aeronautics. Both accused had participated in robotics online project-based course, and they had also received a robotics kit. National Aerospace Laboratories has started work on an autonomous fire and forget loitering munition, similar to the Iranian Shahid 136 loitering munition. It will be powered by a 30 horsepower Wankel engine, and will be able to carry a maximum payload of 25 kilograms, and will have an endurance of 9 hours, a cruise speed of 180 km per hour and a maximum speed of 1000 km per hour. It will feature advanced vision-based navigation systems to identify and track targets effectively, low acoustic signature and low radar cross-section to minimize its detectability, increased autonomy levels to reduce need for constant operator control, hybrid power source for extended missions, and indigenous hardware and software. Despite India's objections, the Chinese survey and research vessel Xi'an-6 has docked at Sri Lanka's Colombo port, and it is not clear how long the vessel would remain docked at the Colombo port. The vessel was scheduled to conduct research with Sri Lankan state institutions, but Sri Lankan officials have said that permission have been granted only for replenishment, and no research work would be carried out. Today's top 3 comments 